and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then welcome. My name is Millie and today I'm doing a sort of hybrid video in between a shop my stash where I have gone through my whole makeup collection and picked out bits that I can't remember if I like them, if I don't like them. I'm trying to go through all of my makeup collection and throw stuff away that I don't like. So this is going to be a full face of makeup that I can't remember if I like or not. I'm also going to be testing out the MUA palette that I tested a few videos ago with some different colours and trying to use a different sort of technique to see if I can make it work because the last time I used it it didn't go too well but I'm wanting to give it another chance so this is testing some old things but some of them I'm fairly certain I haven't used at all. We're just gonna go with it. <laughs> So before I jump into it, these are all of the products that I'm going to be using today. So we've got quite a bit of L'Oreal actually, the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation. I'm fairly certain I've used this, I'm also fairly certain it's too dark for me, but we're going to try it anyway. The Life's a Peach Blusher, I've had that forever and I can't actually remember if I've used it. L'Oreal True Match Powder Foundation, see if that will sort of set my face. Sleek Highlighter got a bit of e.l.f., some collection, and then the MUA eyeshadow palette. We're just gonna chuck it all on my face and see what comes out of it. <laughs> so because I'm fairly certain that foundation is a little bit too dark for me, I'm going to go in with my usual L'Oreal Glow Cherie. I know that I love this, and I know that it gives me a little bit of color, so I'm going to put that on underneath in an attempt to make the foundation match me a little bit more. I also have some really good spots going on at the minute. I don't know what's up with my skin recently, but we are really are going to be putting these base products to the test. So like I said, like this, it's dirty on there. So I'm fairly certain I have used it before, but I just can not remember what I think of it. This is the shade 120 Vanilla. I mean, it's got all of the things like written on the back. It's got all of the things that I like. No transfer, no visible imperfections, no visible shine, no dry out, no mask effect. Enriched with hydrating, something, extreme hold pigments. It sounds like it should be up my street, but I just can't remember what I think of it. And I'm wondering if I maybe stopped using it because it was the wrong color, possibly, but we will see and if it is completely the wrong colour then I have other foundations that I haven't worn in ages. We will, <laughs> we will try. <laughs> that is full coverage. I only got a tiny little bit on my sponge then. Really really full coverage which if you've been here before you'll know that that is not generally what I go for. It's definitely not the right colour, but we will try our best to lighten it up with a bit of concealer. I don't actually have any bronzers. I only have bronzers that I like, so I can't use like a new bronzer that I'm not sure on, because I've only got three and I like all of them. So close up actually, that doesn't look too bad like the texture of it and how it looks on my skin it is perhaps a little bit more matte than I would like personally and it's completely the wrong color but the finish of that foundation is really really nice so I can only assume that I stopped using it because it was completely the wrong color but maybe in summer it might work a little bit more but then in summer I don't like a very high coverage foundation and this is very high coverage for me so I will go on to concealer I have two so I have the collection lasting perfection concealer I picked up the new packaging because I used to really really like this and I think it's just been sat on my dressing table since then I can't remember a time that I've used it and I also have the L'Oreal True Match eye cream in a concealer and I have this one in the shade ivory beige I have the collection one in fair five so I will use the L'Oreal one because it says eye cream in a concealer I'll use that under my eyes and see how we get on and then I might just lighten the rest with the collection I remember thinking that this doesn't have 
very good coverage but I feel like that might work with this foundation because it's such high coverage the foundation and I also think that this was the wrong colour which also works with this foundation so let's see how it goes yes that would have definitely been too dark had I not had a dark foundation on <laughs> and I'll just use my fingers to blend that in to try and get more coverage out of it rather than using my sponge I've seen so many people rave about this concealer but I just didn't really get on with it but again that might have been because I didn't have the right colour which is a problem at the minute because I'm ordering everything online and just eyeballing the colours like generally I just go for the lightest colour but sometimes that's too light now that like brands are coming out with like better shade ranges and stuff I feel like that concealer is taken off some of the coverage under my eyes like I feel like my eye bags look worse now like I said I don't think I was the biggest fan I will just go in with a bit of the collection one in the sort of middle of my face to try and lighten this up a little bit and also a little bit under my eyes oh that blended in nicely I used to think that the collection concealer was very drying on me but I have upped my skincare game since the last time I used it so it might be okay for me now this foundation is a little bit drier than I would like like I said though okay so like I said that I don't have um, a bronzer so I will just go and put that on but I am actually sort of liking how this is looking it is a lot heavier than I'm used to it is a lot drier but I might just do a little spray of a hydrating setting spray and put my contour and bronzer on because I don't have one and then I will be back for blush okay so I feel like I am sufficiently bronzed so I will go in now with the L'Oreal Life's a Peach blush now when I got this it smelled like peaches it doesn't smell like peaches anymore which is maybe why I stopped using it but if you've seen my last video where I talk about my favorite blushes this just isn't the sort of tone that I go for it is peachy obviously hence the name which isn't the sort of color that I go for anymore I like like my favorite one at the minute is this one by Flower Beauty so you can see how incredibly different they are so I don't think that there's necessarily anything wrong with this colour. It's barely showing up on my skin because my skin is already a bit yellow <laughs> because of the foundation. But, I mean, it's fine. It's not harming anybody. It's just not my favourite. It almost looks a little bit like a bronzer with the rest of this makeup that I've got on. Just adding a bit more of like a tan sort of glow rather than a blush i feel like i hear quite a lot about this blush online but i don't like looking at it i don't know what sort of skin tone would suit this color it's just not my favorite i don't feel like it really suits me but if you like it then that's fabulous so next i have i mean i brought this which is the l'oreal paris super blendable perfecting powder i'm sure this is like a foundation like a powder foundation but the foundation that i used was quite dry so i'm not going to use that i can't remember what i think of it though so i will put that aside and try it with another foundation i will try now highlight this is the sleek makeup mono highlighter in solstice equinox and in there it sort of looks okay but I'm sure it left like cast on my cheek like it was a little bit too dark but again the foundation is a little bit too dark so I will goodness I can't remember if this was pigmented or not I think I might have been wrong about this <laughs> wow okay okay sleek I am a fan of a blinding highlight but wow <laughs> I wasn't expecting that you saw how much I tapped into that as well goodness me goodness me let's blend <laughs> is that leaving a little bit of a cast hmm possibly a little bit but when it catches the light wow I feel like that is maybe leaving a little bit of a cast like here Maybe just a little bit darker than my skin. Let's try it with a lighter hand on this side. 
I'm not mad at that highlighter actually I feel like in summer this would be a really really good one for me actually because I feel like it is a little bit dark like when I'm facing forwards and it's not catching the light I feel like it is leaving a little bit of a cast but when it catches the light I will save this one for summer and try it again when I actually have a tan <laughs> so I will quickly do my brows I'm fairly certain I like this one if I remember rightly yeah I don't like it because the actual bit the crayon falls out so I mean fine for like at the minute when we're just doing our makeup at home but in normal times I often do my makeup in the car on the way to work while Phil is driving I will just point out so I wouldn't use this if I was in the car but when I'm at home absolutely fine it has a spoolie on the other end I didn't say what it is this is the L'Oreal Paris brow artist expert in the shade cool brunette and I'm fairly certain that I like this one but we'll give it a go so I almost feel like that is a little bit purple like a little bit lilac-y I don't know how well you'll be able to see that but I feel like that is a bit of a strange colour it has been a while since I used this but a little bit of a weird colour on my skin I don't know it's sort of all right when I share it out a little bit when I brush through it with the spoolie I'm also not getting very fine like hair like strokes the end of it is quite thick I don't know if you'll be able to see that <laughs> but the end of it is quite large so you can't get really fine hair strokes with it not my favorite brows I've ever done but absolutely fine like if I was in a pinch I would still reach for that so I'm scared to use the MUA palette I'm going to have to and indeed I will but I'm still scared so this is the MUA palette I did a look the other day with some of the blues and the pinks and they just weren't that pigmented but I wanted to try this blue in the bottom corner which is a foil sort of texture and I also wanted to try it with this liquid glitter eyeshadow from e.l.f. in the shade Mermaid Shimmy because I've had this quite a while and I haven't had a chance to try it and this is my favourite colour I don't know if you can see yeah you can sort of see it's sort of a, a turquoisey light sort of colour but that is my favorite color so i wanted to give it a go so i will try and just do something what shall i do i will maybe do like a green crease with that foiled glue and then this over the lid maybe we as always are just making it up as we go along here and i'm also not going to put down a base so when i did the other look i used my elf putty eye primer it's just the white shade and I don't know if it necessarily agreed with the palette so I'm going to try it without any sort of eyeshadow base I will just go in with this green shade here just to blend it out I also shouldn't have worn blue if I'm doing a blue eye look I also have blue eyes but I do like a blue eye look even though I have blue eyes which is a rule that I don't mind breaking <laughs> So those are the two green matte shades. I'm just going to take a little bit of my bronzer and deepen it up a little bit because there isn't a dark shade in the palette. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my bronzer and just sort of build that up a little bit on the outer corner because I do want it to be a little bit darker, a little bit browner. And I know that like this is a bright palette and there isn't those sort of basic colours but I do just want to darken it up a little bit. I'm happy with that. That is already looking better than the look that I did the other day. It is blending out really nicely. I might just smoke it out a little bit more because I do have an eyeliner, a felt tip black eyeliner that I want to try as well that I can't remember what I thought of so I will just drag that out a little bit more but I'm happy with how that looks so i will get the blue from the palette now the light foiled shade which just looked incredible when i swatched it but then 
the other foiled shades that I tried from the palette didn't work but I will try this one look at that if that's not Elsa in an eyeshadow then I don't know what is Frozen is one of my favorite films so I will try that sort of all over the lid a little bit and then I'll blend it out with a fluffy brush that foil is already looking better than the ones that I used the other day. I'll just go over the edges with a clean brush. I feel like when that foil picks up on like the light, that looks really good, but it's quite difficult to get it to catch the light. I don't know, it looks okay. I think it will certainly look better when I have got that liquid glitter over the top. I'm just taking a bit more of that foil and putting it all into the inner corner, bringing it along the bottom a little bit, just blending it into what's already there, basically. I'm quite happy with how that's turned out, actually, considering I didn't think I would like this palette after I tried it last time. So I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. glitter eyeshadow. This may well ruin everything, but it might just make it look really nice. So picking up some of that on the applicator, I do actually quite like the applicator and I'll go in sort of in the middle oh that's greener than I was expecting it to be I feel like that is so much more impactful now that I've put that over the top I feel like this is very Elsa vibes and I am here for it even though I'm wearing a dark blue jumper I maybe should have put a light blue jumper on to match <laughs> so I'm going to go in now with the elf intense ink eyeliner now i got this out of my stash because this has the ch oh <laughs> the chunkiest felt tip end and i can't remember if i've used this or not it still feels like it's got a lot of product in it i can't remember when i picked it up but i'm thinking i i'm only going to be able to do a really big wing with this which is fine i love a big wing but I am just not sure if it was something that I would reach for every day, but I can't remember how easy it is to use. Fairly easy to use. Can I do a wing is the next question. It's not precise. I can't get precise with it. It's like the end of the tip isn't actually getting any product in it. It is a little bit like an Amy Winehouse wing. <laughs> it's not pointy at the end it is quite sort of blunt i can't get like i can't get any well not very much products like out of the very tip it's sort of coming out like further down if that makes any sense and it doesn't seem to be very dark i've also got a little bit on my lower lash line but i can i can clean that up it's gone over the glitter absolutely fine it just isn't all that precise and that is not a great shape for my eyes and I also feel like that's drying out like before my very eyes <laughs> so I will leave that upside down so that I might be able to use it for the other eye when we get to that so next up is mascara I have the Bambi eye false lash mascara I'm fairly certain I got this free when I spent a certain amount on Superdrug or something like that. This wouldn't be a mascara that I would, from what I remember when I used it before, this wouldn't be a mascara that I would have chosen to buy. I don't like how the wand looks. I have used it a few times, so it has maybe dried out a little bit and I might like it a little bit more now. I just can't remember liking it all that much. Well, I remember using it the very, very, very first time and I didn't like it. But since then, I can't remember if I liked it more. And if I don't like it, then I'm going to be getting rid because I need to get rid of stuff that I don't use, basically. Not my favourite. It is better now that it's dried out a little bit, I would say. Just getting rid of that liner on the bottom lashes. Um, yeah, I would say that it's better than when I first used it. So it's better now that it's dried out a little bit, but it's not my favorite. If you can see the shape of the wand, it's really like chunky. 
and the bristles are really short and I just don't feel like it's doing all that much to the old lashes. I mean, it looks fine. I may well keep it and just use it when my other one runs out, just to use it up, I mean, but would I reach for this over something else? No. Yeah, it's fine. I feel like that wing is really throwing off my whole face. <laughs> So if you've been here before, then you know the drill. I will go do the other eye and then I will come back and I need to find a lip product. I'll go off, do the other eye, find a lip product, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I feel like on camera, these wings look sort of okay. In real life, they are not even on the same planet, let alone sisters, not twins. The pen, like completely dried out so I can't make this any better. I want to make it better, I can't make it better. So um, that's a no, won't be using that again. I found a few lip products that I just can't remember what I think. I think I'll go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte um, I will just use a lip liner as well. So this is the Rimmel Exaggerate in 018 Addiction. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> that looks crazy. That is a 90s lip. So going with the liquid lipstick. Ooh, it's like moussey. That is a very strange formula. That feels weird on my lips. I prefer that colour. This colour combination I'm okay with. I don't like how that looks on my lips though. That looks very, very dry. I mean, obviously it's a matte and maybe I could have put like a lip balm or something on underneath. You can see close up how different those eyeliners are now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's recap. The foundation looks all right it is quite dry i maybe could have put on maybe some like hyaluronic acid or something underneath it does look quite dry but it is a very very full coverage foundation maybe if it was in my actual shade i would like it a little bit more i do feel like i look quite yellow <laughs> uh the concealer Actually, the concealer that I used under my eyes, the L'Oreal one, that is looking okay. I think maybe for a no makeup makeup look where I'm not wearing anything else, that would maybe work, but only in summer because the color is a bit wrong. The brow products, absolutely fine. Again, just not something that I would necessarily reach for every day, but I will keep, I will probably eventually use it. Um, I already threw away the eyeliner that's a no. The e.l.f. liquid glitter, absolutely yes. I think that saved the eye look. The mascara, again, I will probably use. What else did I test? The highlight, I think it's just a little bit dark. Like, I still think it's leaving a little bit of a cast. The blusher, it might work. Actually, the blusher might work as a eyeshadow. I think that that would maybe make quite a nice sort of warm toned transition eyeshadow so i will keep the collection concealer really really like that i think that worked really well for sort of lightening everything up it is quite dry again but i think it would be okay with other foundations and the eyeshadow palette i think has actually worked quite well today i am quite happy with how the eyeshadow has turned out and i definitely think if the eyeliner had turned out a little bit better then i wouldn't be quite so mad and the liquid lipstick again is fine not my favorite but i think it would maybe work a little bit better if i had a lip balm or something very moisturizing underneath then i definitely think that that could work a little bit better also the collection worked really really well on this massive spot that i have on my chin i don't know if you can see it just right here it's one of those massive ones that's really red and really sore and that worked really well um, to cover that up and is that everything that i tried today yeah i think so yeah i think that's 
everything. So please let me know in the comment section down below if any of these products are your favourites. Perhaps you really like them, even if I don't. I would absolutely love to hear if any of these have really, really worked for you because you know some products work for some people and they don't for others and if these don't work for me and they do for you then amazing you've found a product that works so that is all good here but until next time thank you so much for watching bye